What up, YouTube? Cyber here, and I just picked up a plugin called Supermodal, which is a cool physical modeling filter plugin. And I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on a couple ways you can route MIDI to Supermodal or any other plugin in Logic. So let's have a look. So let's say we want to use these MIDI notes to modulate here. Um, well, you'd think that if you come in here and select, let's say we want velocity to modulate uh, this filter parameter here, you'd think if we selected that and hit play, it would it would work, but it doesn't. In Logic, there's a couple ways to go about it, but the first one, um, even if you turn this up, see, it doesn't work. Um, so the way to do it in Logic is to come in and grab Scripter. And then there's some presets in here and look for MIDI to plugin parameter. Then grab uh, the modulation. Let's say we want velocity to control this. We can learn plugin parameter, boom. And learn plugin parameter and do this one too. Now, It works. So that's one way around it. And you can control your minimum and maximum values, or you can even flip them and have it go kind of in reverse. Um, so that's pretty handy way to do it. Um, the other thing you might realize, so this other filter has a frequency control. And let's say we wanted these MIDI notes to modulate this filter. We can grab Scripter again. And this time, grab note modulation and learn plugin parameter. So here we go, we have logic uh, modulating this filter by note. Um, the problem with this is if I hit C here, 224.5 is not C. If I grab this tuner here, you will see. Uh, not C, not even close. And it can be cool if you're doing, you know, let's say you're doing something that's not tonal and you want to use Scripter to modulate this. Uh, it could work, especially if it's like percussive and it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, on pitch that's fine, and this is an easier way to do it. It's faster in some situations. However, um, the other way to go about uh, setting this up is to create a new instrument, a new software instrument track. And this time, um, we are going to go down and load the plugin as a AU MIDI controlled effect. So if I go to Polyverse and load Supermodal here, then this time what I can do is um, then create a track stack between these. Create. So here's my summing track stack. And I'm gonna put the MIDI into the track stack. And I'm going to turn the output to no output on Vital. Then in Supermodal, grab the side chain of the instrument track. And now the vital is routed through here and the MIDI is triggering um, this instrument track with Supermodal and... Now, if we go in to MIDI CV and click note, we can turn this up. And it's in tune. Let's see if I grab this tuner now and I hit C on my keyboard. It's in tune. So um, there you go, that's how it works. So one last tip for you guys is that you can use these AU MIDI controlled effects. Anything with sidechain can route from another audio track so you can then use 
a plugin that might not have uh, built-in modulation, you can then use the MIDI effects on. For example, I can even load up, uh, you know, Pro C2 as an AU controlled MIDI effect. And then let's say I wanna take uh, the bass, which is an audio here. All I gotta do is turn on the audition and now the bass is gonna play right through. Um, I don't wanna compress it, so let's just do that. But now I've got the bass routing through this instrument channel and I could then load up, uh, well, Volcano has built-in modulation, but let's say it didn't. Um, then I could grab, say, um, the modulator and use that to control the filter, right? So there we go. Now I've got... So now that's how you can use the MIDI effects on any audio channel in your project. All right, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Please hit the subscribe button for me. And uh, until next time, peace out.